Hello, Kevin. My name is Azuka Ogujiba from Media Room TV. Nice to have you on the program. Thank you. And welcome back home. Yeah, it's good to be home. I'm sure you miss home. Yeah, but you know, home would have waited. Mm. How do you mean? I uh, would have loved to stay longer in the house. Mm. I would have been happy to come back in April. Okay, so okay, let's leave that for now. I want to really know. I want you to, to tell us who is exactly Kemen, the name. Okay, Kemen goes by the name Ekemini and Efioke Kerete. That's my real name, Ekemini and Efioke Kerete. Kemen is my fitness brand, and I am the second boy, third child in the family of four. So I have two sisters and a brother. Uh, Kemen is a Spanish word for a boy child, which means strong. And there are some other qualities that are tied to the name Kemen, which means Kemen has the ability of being an entertainer, someone that seeks recognition, someone that has a, a very healthy sense of humor, a motivator, an action seeker in some ways. And generally a very strong person okay the, the name came in you know it sounds like it's a native name it sounds like it's an english name is it your native name that you coined into a name for your brand it sounds like that but i was lucky to find the name came because it's close to my name Ekemini. but it's a, a spanish name okay it's a spanish name and I choose Kemen because uh, I have a little secret, and that's the fact that I I have um, fear for pain, physical pain. I don't understand. You are a fitness trainer. That's exactly the point. You see, I I have uh, this low resistance to pain, and uh, because of that, it took me great determination to go through pain every day to come from having one full pack, because I used to be fat, to being a fit person, and then to becoming a fitness trainer. So the name Kemen had to um, relate to the fact that I had to become a very strong person to achieve that. Okay, um, apart from being a fitness trainer, what else do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I, um, organize events to engage young creative youths actively from um, skill exhibition fairs to cooking food festival to um, hackathons um, marathons and also um, uh, festive period events for festive periods yeah okay um, i always wanted to ask um, a fitness trainer about bodybuilding because i know that um, this is the kind of body they say they i mean people will say that oh if you have this kind of a man in your in your i mean around you when it's cold at night you know, when he cuddles you you don't even feel anything so and also we also hear that um sometimes the body is gotten from steroids i mean what do you have to say to that Okay, I tell people that ask the same question that um, fitness is a, a way of life, is a lifestyle, not a momentary indulgence. And if you have that understanding, you won't want to rush into getting the gains. You need to um, be patient with the body because the body has to grow gradually. You need to do the right stuff, work hard, eat healthy, sleep when necessary, and then the body will come. It takes 30 days for you to start feeling something. It takes 60 days for you to start seeing something. And then it takes 90 days for people around you to start seeing something. So you have to wait through the process. Um, steroid, to some people, uh, I wouldn't know because I've not taken steroid before, but I also heard it, ha it has its own side effects. And I mean, I wouldn't want to put myself through any harm. Now, um, back to you. Okay. Were you in a relationship before the Big Brother Nigerian competition? No, I was not in a relationship, and I stated that clearly in my form and everywhere. 
Okay. Um, now, who is the kind of woman? Because it's a kind of a bit confusing because um, today you are liking t -bus today, tomorrow it's Euro, and um, one time too, I think you're liking Bisola. So who is the kind of woman? Is she light complexion? Do you like light complexion women? Do you like dark complexion women? Do you like the homely type, the extroverts? I mean, tell us your kind of woman. Okay, first I, I need to get us back to the fact that um, Big the Big Brother show was a game. And most of the things that happened had its game part. But to answer the question of my kind of woman, um, irrespective of color, and I used to say, woman is beautiful no matter her size, don't just have a big tummy. Uh, I like women that are extremely smart, strong-willed, and have a healthy sense of humor at all. Slim fat. Slim fat, no matter. Mm. Just don't have a big tummy. Okay. Um, we've seen the video clip that led to your description in the house. Um, and we've heard Tibo's side of the story. So now, I mean, can we like hear from you what really happened that night? <sighs> okay. Um. Um, first of all, I would jump into defend Tibor's side of the story in the sense that I think um, she spoke under pressure because um, we don't, viewers can really tell what happens in the house. Like I said, it was, there's a game side of it, there's an extreme pressure side of it. But for the video, um, in every situation there are perceptions and there's a reality but for some people their perception is their reality and i know i may have hurt a lot of people's perception uh, from the video and i i i regret that a lot of people felt sad felt disappointed in how I left the house and when I left the house, the circumstances that surrounded my leaving the house. And I apologized to my fans that um, expected me to stay longer in the house. I apologized to uh, every, woman, every woman out there that perceived the video in the light that hurt their feeling. But uh, to that story, there is a reality and things are not always the way they look. So now, um, from what you just said now, you said um, there's a reality. Are you, tr are you trying to tell us that um, of record that she actually gave you like some green, some green light, I mean she gave you green light or something? Um, like I said, uh, the um, perception around the video. Oh, can be flirty, flirty. Yeah. So was I mean, did you? The for you to the perception around the video um, has um, become a reality to a lot of people. And the last thing I want to sit down here and do is to try and be defensive, because the truth is the. The truth lies in the fact that I got myself entangled in a situation that was misunderstood. Mm -hmm. But the honest truth about what happened under the covers, let's not forget that the video was focused on a certain movement under the cover. The honest truth of what happened under the cover lies between two people, me and T-Boss and I only hope that um, whenever she's out of the house where there's no 25 million naira stake she I hope she'll be able to embrace the truth about um, the reality surrounding the video but let me also state that um, 
I and T Boss had a cordial relationship. T Boss is a young woman, woman I really liked in the house, and I respect a lot. And she knew I respected her. Uh, I respected her because she was an older person. I respected her because she deserved to be respected by me. And just like I would respect every other woman, I would never put T Boss or any other woman in harm's way. Okay, I've heard what you said and your explanation, but emotionally, are you really into her? Do you have some kind of feelings for her or is she for you part of the game? Um, I would still go back to my previous uh, statement that um, the Big Brother show was a game. And uh, most of the things that happened in the house was a game. Uh, but then we just had a way of fusing the game and reality to to just make the game more interesting and um, while in the house it was it was a good cordial relationship I had with T-Boss one that I don't regret okay now do you think that she should have when Big Brother called her to the diary room do you think she should have um, defended you or because she knows the rules that she says she did not consent to what happened that night that you might be disqualified. Did you think as a friend that you said you guys have a cordial relationship um, with each other, do you think she should have like defended you to save you from leaving the house? I think if um, she had the opportunity to embrace the truth, she would have. I think uh, if she was given the option of, uh, if she was given that option, I, I think she would have taken the option. I, I know t boss is not a bad person, but just like every other person, we can um, do bad stuff, maybe just for the sake of the game. But I know that if she had the opportunity to to say the truth and to defend me, she would have. Okay, now, do, are you, do you think after the house, everybody's out of the house, will you guys keep being friends? Or I told once the game is over, to attend to Israel? I told all the housemates that uh, an, as an entrepreneur, I would uh, love to do stuff with everyone. And I got to know everybody in... Um, I knew them up to their crafts, their businesses, and I had already planned to have a, a good working relationship with all the housemates, and that would not change. Okay. Okay, now, I'm going to ask a very, maybe this might sound funny, but uh, between t and Uriel, who would you pick if you're asked to pick one of them? To date. Uh, from my explanation of my ideal kind of woman, uh, I think Ural, I'll pick Ural. Okay, why Ural? Ural has, uh, Ural is, uh, has my kind of smart. Every woman is smart in their kind of way. but. You're really smart in a way that is most appealing to me. So I'll pick you out. Now, Karen, um, tell us about your experience generally in the in the house. And um, I really want to know. I mean, I, I mean, this is an opportunity for you to tell the world if you really did what you were accused of. What really happened that night? Okay, first, uh, did man. you do it? I want to yes or no. Okay, I will answer your question the way it came. Uh, first, my experience in the Big Brother house. I would use one word, um, life-changing, because uh, the positive stuff I learned from the house in six weeks, I would proudly say I never learned them in the 27 years of my, of my life. Um, and one thing I learned is the fact that the human mind is limitless. Never put, um, never put a, a stop 
to your ability. You don't know where your mind can get to when you put it into achieving success. Well, for the video, I saw the video and if you like, I would analyze the video. First of all, when Big Brother showed the video to me in the diary room, I was like, oh, no, this is not what it looks like. Because um, the perception was clear what it looks like. But for all the housemates that have been in the house, and for those that wake up early like me, because I'm a fitness trainer, so I'm used to waking up early, we know that there are two windows from where the beds are, left and the right. And we don't have a time, we don't have the, a, a watch, a clock to check the time. So for you to wake up, you know, you have to look left, you have to look right up there to see if it's bright. You know, you have maybe about five minutes more to sleep before the light comes on on the roof and then the alarm is turned on. If it's not bright, then you have like 30 more minutes to sleep. And from if you've watched the show, you know that I'm one of the few people that wake up very early and help to wake the other housemates up. So it's... It, was into it came into my subconsciousness after a while to just open my eyes once I wake up look up to the left look up to the right and on that day it wasn't bright enough for me to wake up as at that time it wasn't bright enough for me to wake up so I had to go back to bed now I went to bed before t boss and I used the duvet that was on the bed when t boss came to bed she had to use another duvet and of course there's a third duvet on the bed so when I wanted to go back to sleep I wanted to cuddle T-Boss so I tried pulling out the duvet that was wrapped around me because it was under my legs I pushed it out and then lifted up the duvet in between I and T-Boss so I could move closer to her so the hand movement that was seen was me just struggling through the duvet to get to T-Boss the moment my hand went on T-Boss, wrapped my hand around her, that was when T-Boss woke up. She opened her duvet, saw my hand, she turned around and shifted back into my hand. We stand, that was where the video stopped. Now, if the video had been played backwards, you'd see that for every night I and T-Boss were in bed together, she was always in bed with her three quarter shot that was her nighty and a spaghetti top that's number one number two t boss is not a deep sleeper i wake her up every morning and all i do to wake t boss up is to squeeze her thumb and t boss will wake up t boss number three t boss has the highest stack of alcohol in our cupboard because she barely drinks sometimes we exchange services for drinks because we want to drink so on that night, I was not drunk, but I can't talk for T-Boss. But if I wait to talk for her, I would say T-Boss was not drunk. The moment my hand touched T-Boss, she woke up. And that is what happens every time we're in bed. So, but T-Boss, I wouldn't know, I, would, I don't know, her interview in the diary room, what she was told. But I know what I saw too when I looked at the video. I know the perception surrounding the video. But I didn't have the time to explain myself. Neither uh, would I say t um, I had the chance to talk to T-Boss to clear what was in T-Boss's uh, mind. But that's why I said the truth lies between I and T-Boss. I know I did not touch her. Um, uh, inappropriately and she knows because in her statement when she was telling the house she said she broke down when Big Brother showed her a video that looked like she was being fingered and then she went on saying that she was drunk and she slept off before she was she was she was awake in the video at some point and she slept back Moment after that video, she turned around and she slept with her head on my shoulder. That was when Euro woke up. Euro saw us lying like that. And Euro was like, the Maria was like, um, after you guys will act like you don't like yourself, but you'll be cuddling up all night. 
And to be honest to myself, to be honest to God, that's the honest truth around that video. But for those that I heard their perception, I'm totally sorry. I'm not saying this to defend myself. Um, either ways, I, I regret the scenario. I regret having that video out there. I, um, I regret letting a lot of people down uh, by uh, the circumstances surrounding my exit, by how I made them feel. And um, I, uh, moving on, I promise to keep holding uh, every woman at high esteem, protect them and give them all the respect they deserve as always. Okay, um, Kevin, are you aware that what happened in the, the house is, um, is, is kind of scandalous? Yes, I am aware. Okay, and um, you know how it is, how people view anything that has to do with scandal. For your, you're a young man and for your, for your brand, because you're still, um, you have a lot of time to do what you want to do. How do you intend to, I mean, do you think, let me put it this way, do you think this, incident to tarnish your image and your career and how do you intend to um, let the world know that look I'm not what you guys saw that night at the people of the house I uh, I know what um, Nigerians have read out of the incident but there's some other thing I know about Nigerians and that's the fact that Nigerians are forgiving and understanding and so I believe that um, having the opportunity to also speak out uh, irrespective of how scandalous it has been. I believe Nigerians would always give me another chance to um, keep affecting the life of young people and women positively like I have always done before the show. And I, I, had, I was one housemaid that had my life planned out while in the house and I had a lot of events lined up for the year and um, which included um, uh, the young, the girl child and uh, women generally. So I would, if I have the opportunity, I would push those projects to just show Nigerians and Africans that uh, Kemen is that person that would always uh, respect and understand people, especially women. <laughs> okay, now, um, uh, when this actually happened, um, I'm sure your family, your friends, and family members have told you about the response, social media, how the women are angry. And um, what would you like to say to your female fans or people who misunderstood what happened at the house? Um, Today is a special day to me. And why? Because it is March 8th, International Women's Day. Last year, I tried organizing an event, but I didn't have the money to see it through. I've always been a strong supporter for the girl, child, and women. Generally, last year was pledged for parity. I planned lots of events, but it didn't go through. I thought about um, attending one today, but I mean, uh, that was not possible. But uh, what I would say to all the women on a memorable day like this is that um, I have and will always have great respect for women because they deserve uh, the respect. I will always um, support women in my best best um, effort. I will do all that I've been doing in the past and all that I intend doing just to make um, every woman out there um, feel special like they deserve. Okay. okay, now if you have an, if you had an, if you had a chance again to be in the Big Brother house, what would you do differently this time around? If I had the chance to go back into the Big Brother house, I would not do anything differently, but I would do everything moderately.
How do you mean? Like I said, um, let's not forget, I will keep saying this, that the Big Brother show was a game. And sometimes in trying to um, opt your game, uh, there's a possibility of doing certain things too much. But if I had the chance to go back into the house, that's why it's an if. I would do everything, but I would do them moderately. Okay. Now that you're out of the house now, if you were to choose or ask who would you vote for to win the money, who would you vote for? Uh, everybody knew I had one very close friend in the house, Marvis. And I would vote for Marvis. To win the money. To win the money. But I also would like T Boss to go very far in the game. Why why do you want Mavis to win the money? Uh Mavis is very original. Do you think he's gonna give you some um, th um all through my um auditioning stages I made one thing clear to the judges and that was the fact that the platform was more important to me than the price. Uh, the price is good because, I mean, I know how house they, I know where I'm from, come on, I know it's in 25 million feet do for me and my people. But the most important thing is that um, I thought if I made good use of the platform, 25 million is something I can surpass in a couple of months with all the creative stuffs that I do. No, you also mentioned that you, you, you think Tibos uh, will go far and you don't mind if she also emerged as the winner of the money. Um, with someone that kind of looked like what she did was like um, she backstabbed you. I don't know. You know how you backstab somebody stylishly? Um, again, we were all in a game and people came with a different game game faces and sometimes when you're in a game it's difficult for you to put in your conscience um, and there are game players and there are game players there are desperate game players there are moderate game players but you don't blame anybody for deciding to play the game in a certain way so um, I really wish that she goes far in the game and if she wins, then she played her game well. So, really, in your heart of hearts, you, you're not bitter mm -hmm. the fact that she couldn't defend you before Big Brother in the diary room? I would say again that um, uh, Tibos was a nice person to me. And I hope we still stay friends even after the whole game. I respect Tibos a lot, and that will never change. Okay, now, um, is it true that your family were planning to sue Big Brother? I come from a very loving and understanding family. And when I saw that news, I knew it wasn't my family even before I heard from them. But let me also use this opportunity to thank my family because they've been very supporting. I, my kid sister, called my uh, kid sister sent me a text while i was still in south africa my brother was at the airport even before i arrived uh my mom called me and instead of scolding she was singing to me she was asked trying to tell me to relax that god was in control my other sister called me and i was overwhelmed when i got into the country and i realized that i even had a bigger family the Speaker of the House of Assembly in my state, Honorable Nofio Pluk, uh, I would like to thank Mr. Mon Deoko Monti. I would like to thank uh, Barrister Ini Ememabong, um, Mr. Kufro Moran, and every, every, every big friend of mine from back home that showed me mad love, Iniedo, she called. And I'd like to thank um, my state as a whole and every other 
fan of Kemi and has stood by me, uh, even with the disappointment they felt. Okay. Like, after this statement, you still look like you're still a bit hot while living in the house. I, I would have loved to stay on in the house, and that's the truth. But I'm out here and I'm just going to move right into what I had planned to do. Before I left the house, I told you uh, that staying in the house for six weeks for me was success. And uh, if I'm out, I would go right into the things that I had planned to do. And, you know, I, I at some point I bragged, I told her, ah, five more weeks to go. Before those men go come back from house, I don't blow now. That time they can't start to find waiting to do. But, I still hope to do the things I want to do. Okay, now, how did you feel when you came out of the house and found out that TTT is married? I remember telling Big Brother that TTT was only loyal to the game. And so the, uh, the write-up there on his clothes, I think I contributed to two. I have always known that from week one. Uh, I knew T Tinto would always be around uh, the people that he thought had the highlights. And I already saw him as a very strong game player. So when I came out and I heard he was married, I was like, ah, oh, good game, bro. Keep. I, was, I was not surprised, but I was impressed by the fact that he kept his calm. And uh, that's it for some extreme game players. Now that you are out of the house, what next? Um, fitness is one. Um, Kemen, the Kemen Fitness is one. House of Ambience, which is my event outfit, is two. And Ekemini, and if you're a character as a uh, motivational speaker, is three. So these are three different brands that make up me and I would go straight into the plans I've made. I'd like to start up with a, a 10 kilometer run on Eco Bridge, run with Kemen, with the hashtag I am conscious. Because I would also like to push uh, the campaign for consciousness in all areas of life. Because one of the lessons I learned from the drama and the scenario, the house, the fact that um, we always have to be conscious of our actions towards others because we cannot control the way they interpret and understand. And I believe that if that consciousness is being put out there for all Nigerians to take note of, uh, it might help someone or people. It might um, prevent someone from getting into an ugly situation. Okay, um, you were once the head of the house. How has that responsibility shaped you as a person? And um, do you have plans to delve into politics in the future? Okay, first, I've always seen uh, leadership opportunities as a um, call, the call to service, and uh, an opportunity to be responsible. So, as the head of house. There were few things I was able to achieve. The daily um, cleaning, I was able to promote um, personal hygiene in the house, general organization, and creative conversations. And um, I had some commendations by, by all, all the housemates, and even Big Brother commended me on two occasions, in the diary room and on the the day, on three occasions actually, the diary room, on the day we won our wager, and on the day I was handing over the crown to St. Paul Tony. And uh, if I have the opportunity to serve my people, I will. But of course I won't use extreme measures to um, sit on political uh, seats. Okay. Now, um, I think this might be my, my last question. So, Kemen, what do you have to say to PayPal for sponsoring Big Brother Nigeria in South Africa? I'm sure 
by now you must have heard about the backlash they've gotten about the program what do you have to say to to them uh people did a wonderful job wonderful job very wonderful job and uh, when i went through the auditioning process and i saw it sponsored by people I was like, ah, how now because this is a very big project and I had doubts if they were going to see the project through, but guess what they did? Did a very wonderful job. Uh, I got six outfits from Payport, six shoes. And say, normally now, how how you want to get six shoes as guy man? You get one brown copper shoe, one black copper shoe, one knockabout, and one sneakers, join and pumps. You're good to go. But I got some good shoes, man. The um, one of the uh, the black copy shoes I had, I tried buying it. I can't use the money buy like three shoes because it was better. And and then they won't kill us with food, fresh deliveries. So I think people, I know people did a wonderful job, and I want to say, well done, paper. And for all those that you know were criticizing paper for for sponsoring the Big Brother. I just have one word for you. You don't know whose life you change if you take a bold step to do the things people um, people stand against. That's all. Multi choice did a wonderful job, and the the guys at Multi Choice are wonderful people. I spent a brief time with them, and they are all wonderful people. I want to thank them for the wonderful job of being part of the Big Brother project. All right, Kemen, thank you so much for coming on set. Um, I had a nice time talking to you. Me too, Seth. I don't change my mind about you now. I don't like you, you know. So, and um, I really wish you the best. And um, when I'm in a quiet bomb, I'll come to your, your gym to see, to spend like a whole day with you and see. <laughs> I can't even lose a pound, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.